Welcome everyone to Henderson, Nevada and this beautiful home for sale behind me here. It's a 2,984 square foot home built in 2003, four bedroom, three bath, but this home is definitely not your regular home. This is something special. This home has been redone luxury from top to bottom. Everything inside and out is just top quality, high, high end, top of the line, you name it. You're gonna see what I'm talking about. I mean, they went down to the detail on every little thing and we're gonna go through this house and we're gonna take a look at all of those things and more. I can't even talk, I'm so excited. It's got a beautiful pool out back. It is a corner lot with an extra large side yard, which we'll look at as well. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. Follow me to this beautiful home. Let's go take a look. All right, everyone, here we are. This beautiful single story, almost 3,000 square foot home for sale. The street is a little bit of an incline, so it's kind of driving me crazy because I feel like the camera's tilted. Maybe it is, we'll find out in a moment. So big, huge corner lot. Just a nice desert landscape. You can see the modern gate going out to uh, a little covered area there, which we will take a look at. The home has been completely redone. Everything basically feels brand new. Really nice little uh, tree there. And then more of that mature landscape. Love the curb appeal of this home. Nice muted colors. You have these kind of dark, it's a really dark grayish blue garage door. Maybe just gray, but I, there's a little hint of blue. And then you have these real modern looking lights, but just, I, I really like this house. And then I'm gonna come up and you're gonna see these really modern doors here. Okay, and as we walk in here, you can see this big open floor plan, super high tall ceilings. Um, all the light fixtures are going to be real modern and high end. This home has been staged. So we do have two types of flooring in this home. We have these real big tile here, and then we have this lighter laminate, which I think does go well with the aesthetics. You can see again, modern lighting throughout the hallway. We're going to take a right initially. Uh, again, all the hardware has been changed out with the crystal and black hardware. Uh, all the hinges are going to be kind of the stainless, but are new as well. Uh, so you do have kind of a mix of the whites and the darks and the silvers. It's, it's just really nice. So again, high-end modern features, really nice lighting and fan. Uh, they redid all of the exhaust. I mean, just really, really done uh, in just a way that you just don't typically see. The high-end faucets there, uh, everything you see just is just so nicely done super high-end shower with the wand we have the overhead it has lighting it has music i believe um yeah you can see the lights going there uh, i'll show you the light switch in a moment but there's just so much to see we're, we're only in the first bathroom in the guest bath so you have your uh usb c your usb your outlets and then you have music you have a night mode i mean just look at that switch. That's just for that shower area there. Uh, we do have a fireplace as well. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> There's so much to see. Okay, so, and then I love the way the walls are kind of uh, set with different colors. Like this wall over here is dark. This wall over here is light. Uh, and then you have this textured wall, which is amazing. Um, that's not just an illusion. That is an actual textured wall. Very cool. You got the toilet with the bidet, super high end modern toilet. Uh, you have like the toilet paper roll. The toilet paper is actually black and then you have like a little table shelf there. I mean, this is just, this is incredible. Look at the light in here. The one light I didn't turn on, I thought I found every single light, uh, but I must have missed one. Okay, so that's the bathroom. <laughs> now we'll keep moving on. Geez, okay, so that's just the first guest bath. So then we do have a coat closet here. Uh, there's probably your alarm panel there. And then we have the uh, a little linen closet here as well. Again, everything's been painted. These high, uh, real tall baseboards. You know, the luxury looking door handles. 
these modern lights. So as we come back, we're gonna turn left and this is gonna be the first bedroom we see. And again, they just, they go all out. We have new smoke detectors painted. We have the mirrored, you know, plate here, a uh, high end. This is actually a fan light. So it has a fan built in. The fan blades just pop out as they spin and they go back. This light has a couple settings for a white light or kind of a yellow light. And then we have these really nice closet doors too, which you rarely see in second bedrooms. Uh, very nice. So it's got that kind of uh, frosted glass on it. And then just kind of a standard closet inside. But yeah, very nice looking closet doors even. And then yeah, you're either getting the mirrored finish or like this stainless finish on all the outlet covers and covers, things like that. Nice little threshold here. Uh, another thing that tends to be an issue sometimes when you're combining two floor types or something like this, I'm not sure why they need it exactly here because all the planks seem to be lined up, but it is very low profile and uh, done very well as also. So walk back towards this room and this is gonna be bedroom number two. A little bit, I would say almost the same size, just shaped a little differently. Nice window looking out front. Again, just a little light staging. Same one of those uh, nice fan light combinations, which are really nice and we're seeing more and more of these days. Again, not the same closet, but those really nice closet doors. I mean, they definitely put some money into this home. That's without a doubt and you see it all over. It's very apparent. And I love when homes are done right. And we're into the third bedroom. So all three of these, uh, you know, bedrooms are next to each other on this side of the house. And then the primary bedroom is going to be kind of separated. So laminate flooring, same light again, nice big window looking out front. Um, nice little arch there as well, lightly staged. And again, those great closet doors. So I'm just really liking the way they've done this home. I'm glad I stopped by. Excellent, excellent work. Need to find out who did this property because they did it well. So that's gonna bring us into this big main living area. So I'll just give you a quick peek around and then we'll come back through this thing in just a moment. This is the dining room here. It's gonna be kind of your formal dining. So you have the front door entry there and then off to the side, you could definitely fit a huge table with a bunch of chairs actually look really nice and kind of separate that section. And, uh, you know, I mean, you could put a really nice big table there and I think it would fill out this room just perfectly. Really nice modern lighting again, a lot of crystal, a lot of square lighting as well, very modern. And then they did the extra mile, you know, they just, and this is something so simple to do and it just looks so great. So simple to do, Hard to execute as far as getting it to look perfect and straight, which they did a fantastic job, but it's really just a couple pieces of wood, but you have, you know, just this straight piece of wood separating the two parts painted separately. And then you just have just some molding in a square. I mean, that's really all it is with the center painted a different color. So, I mean, really simply done, but so effective. And then they have that kind of pop out there with the recessed lighting which is excellent. Um, I don't know if the pop-out itself is original, but the lighting is most likely or 100% not original in 2003. So they added on that recessed lighting. So that's it for the dining room. Let's head back this way and we'll check out this big section of the house in a moment. So you do kind of have this little area here uh, to walk through. Remember it's a four, three. So we have four bedrooms and three baths. So what that's gonna mean is one bed, one bathroom in the primary one bathroom that's a full that's shared back in the corner with those three bedrooms over there. And then we do also have a guest bath, with bath, which is great. So you have a guest bath, which is just a half bath. So when you're entertaining, you have people over, easy access right here, use the restroom, you're back out there. They don't have to deal with your shower or any of your nonsense. And again, done very well. All of the mirrors are gonna be these lit mirrors the same hardware, we've done all of the vanities, all of the cabinets, the flooring in the wet areas are always gonna be this tile. The really high-end bidet toilet as well, the black toilet paper, 
um, which I guess could come with the house if you really want it. We can make that happen. Um, again, a new modern exhaust fan and light. You almost never see this in renovations where they redo the ceiling, or the ceiling, <laughs> redo the ceiling, no. Redo the fan in the bathroom ceiling and the vent nonetheless. So just excellent job. And then again, we have that same kind of panel for in here. I just, I love it. So we turn left, this is gonna bring us through. So we do have a walk through laundry room into the garage, but look at this high end stacker. So they made the most of this space. Typically what you're gonna see is you're gonna see a home, uh, a home. you're gonna see a uh, washer here and a dryer there. So they're gonna be side by side and you're gonna kind of just have the overhead space. But what they've done is they've put a full size washer dryer stackable and then you have the area to the left where you can hang everything, you have some shelves and you still have your sink. So talk about maximizing space. This little laundry room is super effective and it forces you to put away the clothes before you have like an entire like wall of clothes and it takes you three hours to put it away. So there you go with that. They're doing you a favor, but very high-end washer dryer from LE, L L E L G. I can't even speak today. I have too much uh, to talk about in this home and I'm, getting ahead of myself. So we come out into this big three car garage, very open, very clean. You have a good sized garage. Then you have this extra space here. You could definitely do a workbench or the trash cans. And then your water heater is even tucked back farther, which is amazing. And your water softener loop is also in this area. So super efficient on space. That's gonna be your water pressure meter there. And then they have the epoxy floor also already done for you and modern new lighting in the garage, you almost never see that as well. So just very, very nicely done. Everything is so pretty in this house. Let's wipe the little feet and keep moving. And that brings us to the primary bedroom. So you can see the vaulted ceilings going up super high and they've painted that beam. Really modern ceiling fan light again. A little different than those others, but, but same style. And you do have double doors walking into this primary bedroom. <laughs> so we come over here, beautiful primary bathroom. Again, that same kind of lighting setup with all the functions and the speakers. And I think that might have to do with that fan vent as well. And then we do have the double raised vanity, which is great. I love when it's raised off the floor. Modern sink. So in here we have stainless hardware. Most of the other bath or both of the other bathrooms, we have black hardware. And then just high end. I love these lights too, like the jelly bubble lights. And then again, a, a light, um, the mirror that has the light function in it. And then this tub, look at this tub. Freestanding tub saves so much space. If you wanna know how much space this saves, just look at some of the other videos and some of those tubs with the tile and things around them. Um, they take up so much space and this literally just takes up what you need. So nice and it's bigger and deeper than those other tubs as well. And then a matching light to those other lights with the jelly bubble. You do have this textured finish wall also which you can see, it just, everything is done so well. Now it's on a platform with an LED light. I don't know if you can see that, but there's an LED light that runs because this is actually off the floor, just a hair, about two to three inches off the floor on a raised platform. Unreal. Wow, and then check this out. So this is gonna be the water closet. Again, super textured, cool wall. Um, those are like deep grooves and that's like a hard plastic. And then we have, uh, you know, that bidet toilet again. And look at this light. Wow, everything is awesome in this house. So cool. And then kind of a little walk-in uh, linen area as well. Some shelving also here, but you can make those shelves a little bigger. They, they don't know, they don't know. I don't know if they're gonna be, uh, deep enough for like towels maybe, you might need a little deeper, but um, yeah, great anyways. And then that brings us around to the shower. So just so much to see. Now this shower again, very high end, uh, all the different 
you know, shower heads. We got the wand and we have the rain shower. Uh, nice backsplash, wonderful tile. So this house just uh, keeps impressing. And then that'll bring us back into this main living area. Uh, big, huge bedroom, plenty of room for a bed. And then they got a desk set up. Nice wall for your TV of the fireplace. So there is TV hookups behind that, uh, that, that uh, piece of art on the wall. And then you could have your desk set up here and look out over the pool. I mean, just fantastic. And then turning the corner here, there's access out to the pool. So just really, really great use of space. Great home. It's just done so well. And then again, these big closet doors uh, with the frosted glass. And that brings you to this massive primary closet. And they have some built-ins here for, you know, shoes and jewelry and clothing, hanging, whatever you need. And then a big full length mirror here so you can check out the outfit before you actually head out the door. Four racks to hang clothes. I mean, it's just done really well. Really, really well. So there's your look at your closet there. And then again, the access to the pool, but we're gonna go take a look out there in just a moment. So let's head back around. And this brings us into the main living area and just, wow. I love the different levels of the ceiling and kind of the different, you know, distinguishing features it's just really great and then again they change out all the vents which you never see i mean you never see that it's crazy so awesome so this is kind of the tv area if you will so plenty of room for a huge couch if you want it they have a a pretty good sized couch but it's just like a singular you know three-seater couch um, they have a good sized table here and then you have this huge fireplace here which changes colors does give off heat does all kinds of things so you can set that up how you like and then a giant wall for a TV if you like they have a really great picture up there uh, this matches the decor of the home whoever staged this home did a great job also so we head over here and this is going to be the dining area more of like the kitchen nook uh, breakfast nook so we had kind of the, the uh, definitely a distinct a defined dining, you know, formal dining area there. This is gonna be kind of more of the informal here. So uh, plenty of room. You could do a small table, a huge table, whatever you like. And then we have this whole space over here. I'm not even sure what this is for. I mean, it could be another seating area, a game room. I mean, I don't know what you put over here, but there's plenty of space, almost like a third dining area with another sliding door going out, tons of windows. That modern lighting again, and that brings us to the star of this show before we get out back, which is the kitchen. You thought that first bathroom was amazing and then it just got better after that. Well, here we go. I love the way they did the two-tone on the wall. You can see that beautiful kind of a gray, a <laughs> little bit of that, uh, it's not green, but it's like the glass color in there um, in between on those glass tile and then a really nice just modern white countertop they've redone all of the cabinets i mean everything in here has been redone there's that same tile floor the really nice black hardware there's a good look at kind of that uh glass tile silver bluish backdrop backsplash and then so KitchenAid appliances, all high-end KitchenAid appliances. You have your dishwasher there, plenty of storage here. Um, pull out trash can, your microwave's gonna be down there as well. Huge basin sink, all stainless steel. And then we have kind of the chrome finish on, on some of these top end, uh, top side pieces. This is gonna be the button that runs the garage. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm stumbling over every word today. <laughs> that is a garbage disposal. And that is a button that turns it on. And that is a, um, a plate that has been cut a little bit to fit perfectly. Actually, they all have, but hey, you know what? 
I'm cool with that because uh, that's just what you see sometimes. If you want it to work, it's the way it's gotta be. They can't rebuild the house, you know what I mean? Um, and then over here we have a little, a little bar. So we have a wine fridge and then kind of some storage here and you could definitely do your bottles up there or you know, whatever kind of decoration. Maybe this is a great coffee station, but a lot of uses there for you as well. And then a dedicated pantry also. So you have a pantry with these double doors. I'll show you what those look like closed in just a moment, but plenty of shelving, plenty of height here. And again, staged, they put some taffy in there to tempt us, but we're not gonna touch their taffy. And here's what it looks like closed, which is actually really nice to keep it closed. And just, wow, I love this kitchen. What I also love is when you do this, you just see all those dots of light on the countertops as well. So kitchen aid, kitchen aid huge fridge, uh, one word at a time, one word at a time. Storage above, storage below, double oven. And then we have these, a uh, couple of these cabinets that are like this dark frosted glass. Ooh, that's got a nice spring to it also. And it kind of locks closed, that's great. And then, I, I'm not sure exactly what that is other than just a range. I'm guessing that's just a range. I don't think there's anything else there. Oh, it's, there's a light. Let's see what the light does. Oh, okay. So you got the light there. But yeah, that's just the range hood. Uh, unique style. I really like that as well, though. It looks great with the home. Then another one of these frosted dark glass. Let's check out this corner cabinet. This is becoming a thing. How do we handle the corner cabinet? Oh, so they, the, oh, that's very nice. On the last video, you opened it and then there was kind of that Pac-Man spinning. This one, it's part of the cabinet. That's pretty cool. All right, so there you go. That's how they handled their corner. So that'll be the kitchen. And again, staged very beautifully. I believe most of the homes that are staged, you can buy the furniture. I mean, you know, almost everything's for sale. I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, just in a typical staging situation. Obviously they set the price. So finally, last but not least, we're gonna check out this backyard. Here we go. I love this patio furniture. You gotta find out where they got this. It, it just really works with everything else in this house. And there you are, this beautiful, I take my booties off, this beautiful backyard, sparkling pool, good sized pool. Goes from shallow to fairly deep. You have the spa built in. Great use of this backyard. Super clean. I, I love the bunny back there. There's actually two. Take a quick look down this side. So you just have a little gate there going out that locks. Look at these bunnies again. <laughs> it's so cool. The canary palm. I actually like that. Uh, I, I think it's just a lattice with like fake uh, plant on it, but it actually it's really awesome to fill up that wall. That is that is really cool This nice little retaining wall and this looks like it's all been redone new as well because there's bunnies everywhere And then look at the shape of this hot tub very very cool Excellent, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, here we go. So nice little hill. I like the way they did the hills too. And then you think we're done, but we're not because it just keeps going. So here we go. There's an outdoor party you didn't even know about. So we have this really big uh, covered area, nice pavers, kind of the secret outdoor kitchen, plenty of stools all the way around. And then we have a big grill in the middle and a fridge. And I think all of this is new as well. I think whoever remodeled the house put this in themselves. I mean, they really just did it all and they didn't stop until they turned the corner. And that's going to be kind of the corner of the neighborhood when the entrance. So the uh, gates right on the other side of this wall. There's the guys putting up the Christmas lights, even though it's not even Halloween, but you know. So there you go, everyone. 
I hope you enjoyed this tour. This house was awesome. I don't think I've done anything quite like this. And you know, it is a little longer, but there was a lot to uh, investigate. So I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. Thanks for watching. Um, that was the pool equipment, by the way, we just walked by, but if you have any questions, if you're interested in buying, selling, investing, or just interested in real estate in general, please give me a call. I would love to help you out. I'm Andrew Guyant with Simply Vegas. Thanks for watching the tour. Please subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Take care.